Hey everybody, Winstreak here. We got a question today from Set Dev. They are looking to create a type of uh, smoke trail uh, behind their rocket or ship or whatever they want to make and give it that kind of realistic feel. So without further ado, we'll hop into a new project here. And starting off with some sprite, I'm going to draw a rocket. And do, 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 do nothing too fancy. And cool, we get the idea. And then we'll throw some particles on here. And we're just going to make them a smoke color. Obviously, you can learn more about particles and add some better details, but this, this will show you the idea of what I'm working on. Um, but the graphics won't be 100% up to par. And we will give this a pin behavior. And we will give this a bullet behavior. And on start of layout, I am going to set the particles. Actually, before I do that, I want to set this uh, origin or image point right here to the butt because that's pretty much where I want the particles to start because it's the smoke and we want them to start behind the rocket. Uh, so that's essentially going to sit like that and they can only appear behind it now. And then on start a layout, we will set the position of the particles. And it will go to sprite.x, which is our rocket or missile, whatever you want to call it, and sprite.y, the position of where our rocket is. And then we're just going to pin it to there so it stays there as it moves. And now that that's done, we can hop in here and we can play around with the bullet effect. And I'm going to start this out slow and have it slowly get faster. And I'm going to throw a text box to just show. We'll do that with every tick. Oop, that's under system. Every tick, we're just going to set that text to show us how fast our rocket's going. So we'll go to set text. And we'll just type in rocket speed. And that was our sprite. And we're looking at the bullet function. And we want the current speed. And I just want that every integer so we don't get those decimal places. And then we will play around with our particles. So we want the, the rate we will actually edit inside of our events. Uh, spray cone, it's good for now. Speed is how fast it kind of shoots out, so we don't want it to go out too fast. We'll try 30 for now. Um, size, I hand drew, but we can edit it in here if we want it bigger or smaller. Uh, for now, we'll leave it there. Uh, opacity, we'll leave it 100, and we'll change that with the random. Grow rate, we'll make them grow a little bit. Uh, X randomizer, just where it starts, either left or right of where it already is. We'll have that move a little, and then up and down we'll have move a little faster. Speed randomizer, we don't want them all moving together, so we'll give it a randomizer of 5, size randomizer of 5, and they'll just keep everything from being exactly the same. Actually, let's move this up a little and this down a little. Uh, 20 should be good there. So now they can be between size 5 and 35. And the grow rate randomizer, we'll actually move that up a little more and give a little bit of a randomizer to the grow rate. And acceleration will make it start going in the opposite direction it started as, uh, depending on how much negative we have. I want it just kind of more so float there, so we'll do that 30. So we'll just have a slow little drift to the left. Uh, no gravity. If you want a gravity, it would be something real low, so it kind of like slowly, slowly sink. 
and then we'll fade to invisible and we'll just do that over two seconds and then every tick on here we're gonna set out particle rate uh... set rate so set the number of particles created per second we want that to be sprite dot bullet dot speed and then divided by something so we're gonna start off with a hundred uh, speed and gradually climb up uh, we'll probably end up like five six hundred maybe a little higher by the time we hit the other side of the wall here so we want to divide by something to where at, at the end we have no more than like I don't know 80 particles so we'll throw 15 sprite bullet divided by 15 so essentially it'll gradually get more of these particles created the faster it goes so we'll give it a little look and some poofs and they're not really as big as I want so we can go in there and play around with that a little more and that's under particles size we'll bump that up to um, let's go 35 and we want it to flex more as well so from here it'll just be edits to make it look more like how you want it so we'll go 50 and size 30. So I'll give it a lot of flex. And then opacity randomizer. Uh, I meant to set this earlier, and that'll just give it a chance to be a little, little different with each one. And yeah, so obviously <laughs> not the super high end of graphics here, but it's the idea of what you're looking for. It gives you the smoke trail and you can work with the graphics a little obviously make it a little more realistic or more in tune with your graphics I'm not sure what you're working with it'll never look like the the high end of the video you gave us but it will give you the overall feel of uh, essentially that propulsion explosion smoke in the background so hopefully that helps you out uh, if I'm way off track let me know I'll see if I can help you out a different way otherwise have a good one